Bravery is a skill, not a personality trait, and it is the fastest, most powerful skill to creating the career and life you really want. I'm Nicole Trick Steinbach, the International Bravery Coach and your host. I'm a former global senior director in the tech industry who's worked in over 25 countries. I'm now a certified and proven coach serving professional women like you all over the world. My promise is that you will stress less, work less, and then earn more. The Celebrate Brave podcast is for you. So make sure you subscribe for weekly brave inspiration, including proven frameworks for career and life success my answers to your listener questions, and powerful conversations with my clients and other brave leaders. You are already brave. You can define what brave means for you and your goals and build your brave. In fact, you're already in the right place. So let's dive in. This episode is for you. If you are one of three people, you ready? Person number one, you are at the point in your career where you have already reached senior functional level and you want to step forward into leadership. This can include titles like director, vice president, principal, chief, senior manager, et cetera. If you are stuck, At the senior functional level, you're a senior accountant, senior consultant, senior developer, senior HR, BP, senior, senior, all the things, (laughs) senior support specialist, right? Senior product manager. And you want to step into that next level, director, chief, principal, et cetera, VP. This episode is for you. The second person who will benefit from this is the person earlier in her career and thinking about the future headed into those leadership executive levels. This episode is also for you. And the third person is the person who already made the break into leadership. You are a director, a chief, a principal, a VP, and above, and you're trying to help other women understand how to make that break. This episode is going to help you as well. Okay, so let's dive in. Today, we're talking about making the career shift between senior functional into leadership, director, chief, principal, etc. Here's a hard truth. The beginning of your career is focused on performance almost exclusively it's the performance the delivery the results and the impact that you make as you shift the focus shifts into perception perception over performance who knows about you What do they know you for and from? And then what perception do they have of you that they share with others? Now, we can take this too far and we can say performance matters exclusively at the beginning. Perception matters exclusively in the senior levels. But that is way too simple. And in this brave space, we talk about the important things but we do it with nuance. So at the beginning, if you are the best at performing, but you are a pain in the butt to work with, that's going to impact your career growth. And it's the same in the director level and above the chief and principal levels and above. If your perception is fantastic, but your performance is a pain in the butt, that's also going to slow down your career growth. So there's always nuance, but at the beginning, performance in the senior levels, above senior levels as well, it's perception. Who knows about you? What do they know about you? What is their perception of you? And what perception do they share with other people, particularly when you're not around? 
The metaphor that I have found the most effective for this is a high rise building with step and staged elevators. So let me set the scene. If you go to any major city that has significant numbers and significantly sized skyscrapers, right? The elevators don't start at zero and go all the way up to the top level. They're staged. So get onto an elevator and you can go from floors zero to floor 20. And then you get off that elevator most of the time. And you get onto a second elevator that takes you from 20 up to 40. Now, sometimes, and I love to call this, the white man express, you can get onto an elevator at zero and it will skip from zero to 20, start you off and just fly up to 21, 22, all the way up to 40 and sometimes even above. So that is for people who are born into wealth, born into connections, go to the right schools, have all the skills taught to them at an early age, et cetera. But for the most of us, And for those of you that, like me, get car sick, get a little nausea, you get onto the elevator from zero to 20. That is your performance. That's how you get those promotions so easily. And the promotions just happened. That's what I hear from a lot of my clients. They come to me and they're like, I don't know why I'm stuck. Promotions came so easy. They just happened. My career kept growing. I'm doing a great job. I'm actually doing even more but I'm not getting that promotion. I'm not getting that visibility. I'm not getting that support to step past the senior functional into those more leadership, executive, chief, and principal roles. Okay. That's because that first elevator is based on performance. But when you're on level 20 and it's time for you to shift into that next elevator, to go from 20 all the way up to 40 and beyond, you have to have a specific code on your badge or you have to have someone with you who is going to get you into that next elevator. You cannot get into that next elevator with just performance. It's perception. And with the perception, someone else badges you in or adds that code to your badge so that you have the ability to get into that secondary elevator. You cannot do it with just your performance. It's perception. Now, that's the metaphor I love the most. And that's the metaphor that's going to get you up to levels 21, 22, 23, et cetera. But there's a second metaphor that I see a lot of people relate to. So they are growing their career with a horizontal line. And that line is growing higher and higher and higher and higher. And then that line begins to hit a vertical wall. Performance slamming into that vertical wall. Why? Is this wall I hear from my clients? Why is this wall in my way? Why is this wall not budging? How can I get through this wall? I want you to imagine that this wall into those leadership roles is not actually a wall, it's a one sided door. It looks like a wall from your perspective. Because the handle, there's only one handle and it's on the other side. You must have a person or actually many people on the other side of what looks like to you a wall. You need to have those people on the other side who can grab that handle, push it down and pull that door open for you, which is perception. It's your board of advisors. I have an episode about that. I'll link it in the show notes. It's your board of advisors. It's your networking. We come back to interest interviews. I have so many episodes about interest interviews. I will link some in the show notes. It's about 
being parts of conferences. It's about knowing who you are and what you want to be known for, sharing that with other people and supporting and nurturing relationships with people who share their perception of you with their communities. That is the technique, the tool, the requirements, and the effort required to shift from a senior level, functional level, a senior functional level into a leadership career path. At the beginning, just to sum up very quickly, performance matters over perception. When you're ready to shift into leadership, it's perception over performance. Never exclusively, but it is about your focus area. And that elevator or that wall that's actually a one-sided door, you must have the code and the code is going to come from someone else, from your network. So get out there, make sure you're building your board of advisors, you're always networking with interest interviews, and that you're making yourself visible. I want to hear your questions about this. This is something, this is a best practice. This is a reality that is not fair, but it is reality. Want to hear your questions? Want to hear your feedback? Send me an email at Nicole at TrickSteinbuck.com. Links are in the show notes. All right. Till next week, go get your senior level and above career. We need way more women in leadership in all industries, but especially the STEM industries to make this world a better place. So go get it now. Before you go, you can deepen and expand what you're experiencing here on the Celebrate Brave podcast by working directly with me through bespoke, results-oriented one-on-one coaching that is rooted in my proven Build Your Brave framework. As of the last client survey completed in Q1 2023, 75% of my clients from the past two years report they reached their unique goal. 100% of my clients, yes, 100% report they stress less as a result of working with me. 56% report working less and 43% report earning more. You learn how to spend less time ruminating and stressing yourself out by getting clearer and calmer within a mindset approach that is simple, effective, and specific to you. Then we work together to end the habit of overworking and overproducing by crafting a plan of momentum specific to your goals and strengths. I support you as you execute your plan, including the skills and knowledge necessary to succeed in your own accountability. And finally, you step away from the all too common pattern of under earning and make the shifts towards being well paid in your industry, using the clarity and momentum to ensure you become the woman you want to be at work and in your life for real. Go to tricksteinbach.com to learn more and schedule your free, no obligation consultation. Link in the show notes. You can stress and work less while you earn and live more by building the skill of bravery. Talk soon.